I'm George Schöpflin, member of the European Parliament for Hungary, and I'd like to say a few words about the resolution of the EPP on Slovenia in a kind of general context. Some of it, of course, we know very well from Hungary, but what I want to suggest is that actually the problem that Slovenia is confronting, basically the survival and to some degree even the resurgence of the old nomenclatura is a much bigger problem than just the two, our two countries, Slovenia and Hungary. It's something that I think nobody really reckoned with when communism collapsed, disappeared, the communist states were transferred uh, into the democratic world, that actually the nomenclatura didn't disappear. And that, I think, is partly explained really by two things. One is that there was no revolution. Or, if you like, in the one or two countries where there was something like a revolution, like Estonia, to some extent the Czech Republic, actually the nomenclatura is fairly weak. But elsewhere, where the transition was very smooth, as in certainly in the case of Hungary, in the case of Slovenia and many others that I could mention, the nomenclatura survived, captured communist institutions, made them look as if they were democratic and continued to use them. And here comes a second factor with the de facto approval of the West. The West, I think, was quite pleased that things were so smooth, there's no blood, there's no violence, and I do remember uh, some Western commentators praising Hungary for the smoothness of its trans transfer of power. But the reality was that at the top level, yes, elections really did count, but the state, the state machinery, the administration of justice, a whole range of institutions were captured very fast by the left and the left has really hung on to them. And I think what is happening now is that the new generations coming up, uh, they understand that uh, the nomenclatura in a new form uh, continues to hold on to power, which is not how they imagine democracy. I think that's certainly my case. I thought there would be a considerable uh, dismantling of everything that the communists had done. This is not what happened. And I think that some of the clashes we are seeing uh, is the determination on the part of the neo-nomenclatura to hold on to power. Now in this context, of course, what we're seeing in Slovenia goes beyond what we've seen in Hungary um, because actually the prime minister himself uh, is under attack by a so-called legal means. Um, the really interesting thing is that outside Slovenia, this, is, this has got very, very little publicity. When the previous communist, I'm sorry, the previous socialist prime minister, Jurcaj, was under suspicion of various forms of corruption, there was a considerable noise made in the West that this is terrible, you can't do this, this is political revenge and so on. What fascinates me is that here is uh, the case of Janez Jansha, to whom my compliments, uh, he is actually being harassed and hassled by legal means and the West is absolutely quiet. And that includes the Western media, which I think strengthens my argument that there is a strong Western bias about the former communist states and what they really like is where they are quiet where actually there isn't a significant social transformation, where the new social groups, the new social strata don't come into power, but they can deal with the old nomenclatura, very often the children of the old nomenclatura, who, however, are very, I'll use the word, biddable. They're open to what the West is telling them. And this, of course, is in itself fascinating, that these people very often acquire their legitimacy from their support in the West rather than from the people themselves. They can win elections, especially if the uh, party in power, the centre-right party in power has done badly or the international situation is uh, difficult. But in the present situation, in the present crisis, they are holding on to power wherever they can and they will use all kinds of methods, fair means and foul. And what we are seeing is, I think, an increase in the foul means.